Paul's first stop on his lip-smacking, thirst-quenching, ace-tasting drinks tour is the beautiful city of Oaxaca in the southwest. This place is the food capital of Mexico. And as local food guide Omar Alonso explains, it's the go-to place to try a proper Mexican obsession. Chocolate. All I see around me are chocolate shops. It's one of the most important things in our diet in Oaxaca. Also a thing in Mexico. It's everywhere. Look, 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 look. How about yeah. some churros? Do you like churros? I do, but I can't it have has any now. In it. It's too early. <laughs> it's too early. In Mexico, it's never too early for chocolate, Paul. Although we're not talking about a bar of fruit and nut. They drink their chocolate here, and it's pretty much a required part of any Mexican breakfast. I haven't tried the hot chocolate here yet, but I'm guessing that the chocolate I'm going to try today is going to be very, very different to the chocolate I have back home. I think so. In Oaxaca, you don't have to buy a jar of chocolate off the shelf. At one of the numerous chocolate houses in town, you can have your own bespoke chocolate paste made for you from raw cacao. You can just eat it like a snack. It's delicious. To me, it tastes like wet dirt. You know, when it starts to rain and the dirt gets wet, you know, that aroma. And I've wow. never eaten it, but I've been wet wanting dirt. to. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go with the traditional one, which is the one in the bottom. Yeah. So that one has one kilo of uh, cacao, yeah. 25 grams of uh, cinnamon, and two kilos of sugar. Yeah, just the two kilos. And remember, it's Mexicans who we have to thank for inventing chocolate. You see, 4,000 years ago, it was the ancient Olmecas who originally turned cacao into a chocolate drink, and it's ingrained in Mexican history. I expect it to come out like powder, but it doesn't. It comes out looking like melted chocolate. Yeah. The Mayans praised chocolate as the drink of the gods, and the Aztecs used cacao beans as currency. The smell is very distinctive. Yes. It smells like a good chocolate. You know the smell of a, a low cow chocolate to a high. You can smell it. Yeah? I, I wouldn't know the difference because I have never smelled bad cacao. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been spoiled. You've been yeah. spoiled. Apparently, 16th century Aztec ruler Moctezuma II drank 50 cups a day out of a golden goblet to enhance his sexual powers. No wonder Paul and Omar are so keen to taste their bespoke mix. OK, so I think we should mix some. How much chocolate are you putting in? Quite uh, a lot. It's three per cup. That's a lot. You're not diabetic, are you? No, no, no. OK, good. Maybe you will be able to do this. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> the paste is mixed with just hot water and stirred with a traditional whisk called a molinillo to make it nice and frothy. You've got a bit of foam. Oh, that's good. This is the size of the cup of chocolate that we drink every day. I can smell the cinnamon. Yes. Ooh. It's delicious, drink. It is delicious. It's really chocolate. smooth. I don't know how sweet you think it is, but for us, this that's is the right enough. way. No, that's sweet enough. Omar told me that to enjoy the full Mexican experience of hot chocolate, we had to do a bit of dunking. This is how you do it. You just. People used to shout at me when I used to dump my croissant into coffee. Mm -hmm. This is a regular breakfast in Oaxaca. This is the difference between, at the moment, Mexico and the UK. Here, you're taking the raw ingredients, yeah. grinding it yourself so it's fresh. Right. Wow. If you have this breakfast, you can conquer the world. I'd have that for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yes. In Mexico, chocolate is important for cooking, too. And next, Omar wants to show Paul a Oaxacan speciality with cacao at its core, black mole. What's the literal meaning of mole? Mole, it's a, a, a sauce. This one has a lot of different ingredients. Chocolate, plantain, bread, anise, spices, almonds, pecans, peanuts. Can you taste the chocolate in this one? Yes, I think I can. It's very mild. Mm -hmm. But there is something in the background which you couldn't identify unless you said, do you reckon I, ah, I can't, that's what it is. Mm. This traditional dish is being served by two traditional chefs. Nicole and Donahi are mouches, recognized as a third gender in Oaxaca. In their culture, the mouches are considered a blessing when they're born in a family. Are they cooks? And they're, they're great cooks. Great cooks. Makeup artists, artisans, weavers. It's a very important community for us. And they've mastered this art of the mole. Yeah. I think it's a great flavor. It's silky. You do get that little hint of cacao in there mm -hmm. as well. 
you can scratch that off your list now. Black Mole, Absolutely. Black Mole, from tick, Oaxaca. next.